The news Nvidia just announced was literally the last thing I expected to happen, but I'm really glad Nvidia made this decision. Nvidia unlaunched the RTX 4080 12 gigabyte. Yes, you heard me right. Nvidia won't release the 12 gigabyte version of the 4080. The press release reads: The RTX 4080 12 gigabyte is a fantastic graphics card, but it's not named right. Having two GPUs with the 4080 designation is confusing, so we are pressing the unlaunch button on the 4080 12 gigabyte. The RTX 4080 16 gigabyte is amazing and on track to delight gamers everywhere on November 16th. I'm sure this news will trigger some strong reactions, and on one hand. Nvidia deserves all the mockery they will get, because this card was never a true 80 card to begin with. I think literally everyone called them out on that. You can start branding third tier chips as high end cards, especially since the mining craze is finally over and the competition is closing in. On the other hand, it takes some guts to revise a bad decision, especially this publicly, and I support this move. The RTX 4080 12GB was supposed to be based on an entirely different chip than the 16GB 4080, using the smaller 8104 die instead of the larger 8103. It was a blatant lie to consumers who, at first glance, would assume that the only difference between the two 4080 cards are the size of the RAM. Instead, they would have gotten a much slower graphics card. And while this move is a clear win for the community, it's also kind of scary that it did happen in the first place. The question right now is why Nvidia decided to make this change and how they will restructure the Ada Lovelace lineup. My personal guess would be that Nvidia will rebrand the 12GB 4080 as a 70 class card, so either as RTX 4070 or 4070 Ti. This also means the previous planned 4070 card will be rebranded to a 60 class GPU, a win for everyone not willing or able to spend $500 or more on a GPU. On the why question, the obvious reason would be that NVIDIA might be preparing for a stronger than expected AMD Arden A3 lineup. If a RX 7700 XT is beating a RTX 4080 class GPU, it wouldn't be a good look for NVIDIA. Or maybe NVIDIA just grew a conscience. We will find out once AMD reveals their Arden A3 GPUs on the 3rd of November. Instead of going on a rant right now, I would like to know what you think. Are you as surprised as I am? Does this redeem NVIDIA to some degree in your opinion? Or do you think they just had to react to the incoming Arden A3 launch? And how much would you be willing to pay for a RTX 4070 based on the same chip, which was previously planned to sell at $899 MSRP? Leave a comment down below. I'm looking forward to your input. See you in the next video.